Hi, I'm Pauline, for those that do not know me. Um, so we decided to have this presentation for some of you that we think would be involved in more than one project infrastructure or network that are supported by ARIA at the moment and that are associated with different sites. Um, and uh, as, as Claudia said, there are a few questions about that. So we, we, we thought that it might be interesting to have a bit of a tour uh, and give a bit of a few tricks on how to handle and navigate through these different sites. So if you're not involved in that discussion and not interested, feel free to have a cup of coffee and the other ones can, can stay and uh, have questions and ask questions if needed. Um, so, as mentioned, we have different um, projects, network infrastructures that have different sites and from the front end, they would look very differently. So each of them have their own URL. Here you have the, uh, the example of the Instruct site, the INEX discovery site and the Isidore uh, Instruct catalog uh, site. They look very different. Once again, different URL. However, uh, they will all have this, the same backend. So if you go to uadmin, you can see the uadmin bar. In each of them, you will reach the backend that will all lead you to um, the, 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 the ARIA that you know, the backend that you know. So the reason why um, ARIA has developed these different sites, um, the main reason is that it allows for each project or infrastructure to have their own community uh, of users that will not be shared by another project or another infrastructure. Um, so for each of the sites, a user will have to log in and accept the conditions that are associated with a project or with an infrastructure uh, to actually get access. And this is very, very important, notably for GDPR reason. It means that each site has a very different access controller, uh, data controller, and users can decide with whom they are going to share the, their data. So for example, uh, someone from uh, a specific our uh, research infrastructure, like you open screen, will not want to share data with another research infrastructure such, such as Instruct. Um, now, as I mentioned, we still have the kind of common backend that is the science system that you all know. Um, and, and that's basically what you want. And you can actually move from one site to the other from the backend using this drop down that you see here. So for example, here you can see that I'm I'm involved, I am accepted as admin in three different sites and I can see them all in this drop down and I can easily move from one site to the other um, using this drop down. Um, one uh, nice trick as well regarding this um, site handling is that you can easily for each of your site uh, access the backend of the project by using the URL and adding an admin ADM at the end of the URL and you will uh, reach directly the backend of the project. Um, and now we are reaching uh, basically uh, we are <laughs> I'm going to try to answer Nicolas question. Um, what happens if you try to, for example, access a proposal if you are in the wrong site? So for example, let's say that you are um, trying to access an instruct proposal by connecting via INEX discovery, you will not have access right to see some of the information. So in that case, for a proposal, you would see that the owner has an ARIA user um, kind of blank. Note, and you will not see any information about the user. In the messaging panel, for example, you would have um, you would see that some messages appear uh, appear with a uh, filtered user. So once again, you do not have information about um, the person that has sent the message because you don't do not have the rights in this specific site uh, to access it. So if it happens to you, you need to realize that you're on the wrong site. Um, but usually you have information. So here, for example, it's written on the visit that I'm on the. This is a visit from Isidore. So if I'm on the Instruct site. And I, I know that I need to move to the Isidore easy site to have the complete information about this proposal and find information about, um, about the applicant. So if you can't see details about a specific proposal, if you can't see everything, is that you're in the wrong site and you need to move on. Ah. So we know that some of you have been confused uh, because of that. Um, I hope it clarifies a few things, but please ask questions. And if you notice some bugs moving from one side to the other, please let us know. Still, part of it is still work in progress. <laughs> 